How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time to start up our third installment of the GM Mode Commentaries. Our first franchise with the Edmonton Oilers got corrupt, couldn't finish it. Our second franchise, it was a good franchise with the New Jersey Devils, and now it's time to move on to the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's right, boys. A lot of comments. You guys wanted me to do the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Nashville Predators were close second, but I only think that's because anyone who didn't want the Toronto Maple Leafs voted for the second best. Detroit Red Wings left in the dust, but we're going to go with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Blue and white, boys. Blue and white. So before we get into it, let's set up all the options here. Uh, we're going to make it Superstar, Game Style Hardcore. Period length, 20 minutes. Uh, regular season, starting rosters current. Remember, I have all the new rookie updates. And I actually uh, fiddled around with a few more after you, after I saw your uh, comments. Okay, uh, we won't look at that right now. Um, ownership, going back to classic, so everyone has their own draft picks. Fantasy draft, no. And tuner set, okay. Rules, I don't think we can change anything here. Nope. And advanced settings, everything is good except for the edit lines. Nope. GM firing off. And uh, the GM length, five years. So there we go, boys. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Oh, I'm going to be excited about this. See if how the Toronto Maple Leafs, they have a good team, but as I said before, we're going to have to make some trades. We really are. So here we go. Uh, General Manager. Yep, yeah, that's my name. And if you look, we're going to put it on hard. All right, so actually we have a little bit of a scout, but we don't have anything for assistant coach to start off. So that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt our uh, progression for our rookies, but that's okay. Here we go. Brian Burke has been fired. And General Manager Superman is in the door. <laughs> And boys, for this uh, first Toronto Maple Leaf GM Mode commentary, I have my Molson Canadian. It's just fitting, isn't it? For the new channel, the new series, Molson Canadian, baby. There we go. The good luck charm. Hang on, hang on a second, boys. Hang on. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to have to We'll save over this Toronto. Look, you can see the old New Jersey files. Oh, think of players like Ted, Yakupov, Laner. They're all there. Oh, good memories, but it's time to move on. All right. So, in this video, remember how I said I can do the trade, but before we do all that, let's go through the roster and see what we have to do, basically. I, I want to explain it to all you guys um, and see actually what I want to do, see what players we're going to keep. First, we'll go to roster moves. That's what we'll do, yes. Roster moves. Let's see which players uh, we have up in the system for each position. Okay, so we'll start with centers. Now, here's the big problem for the Leafs, especially this year. That first line center position. It still hasn't really been solved. And look in this game. Our best center is 83. Yes, we have three of them. But still, 83, not good at all. You have Matthew Lombardi, 83. Mikhail Grabowski, Connolly, Tyler Bozak, and uh, David Steckel. Philip Dupuy. We're going to send down Philip Dupuy. We'll do that right now. Um, again, these are a lot of depth players. Toronto's a good deep team. But since we're not playing with injuries, we don't need it. All right, so let's look at Grabowski and Connolly here. Okay, so Grabowski... He's not bad. He's 27 years old. He's not a bad uh, offensively gifted player, but he doesn't have great defensive stats, and I don't like that in a player. He's, uh, he's a good second-line center, I guess. He doesn't pass for a first-line center. No way, no how. Uh, Tim Connolly, he's better offensively, and he is okay defensively. He has got that high defensive awareness, and he is actually faster. If we had injuries on, this guy would be getting injured every two seconds with a durability of 65, but because we don't, he fits that center, uh, second line center role better than Grabowski, but still, he's not a first liner. Neither is Grabowski. Matthew Lombardi. This guy fits a third center, uh, third, sorry, third uh, line center role. Look at his defensive category. It's pretty solid. He's got mid eighties everywhere, and he's very fast. He kind of fits into that Joel Colburn type of player in year four or five for us, right? So he's not bad. But the only thing about these three players for the Leafs is look at their freaking contracts. Uh, Mikhail Grabowski, yeah, his is only 2.9, but he's only got one year left, and he's going to want more next year. Connolly and Lombardi both signed for two more years. Connolly's at 4.7, and Lombardi's at 3.5. I mean, that's a lot for those players, absolutely. Uh, excuse me. Oh, the Canadian's getting to me. Tyler Bozak, he's not bad, but he's he's 25 with C potentials. Like, he's hitting his prime. Again, remember, I always like those players who have stronger defensive categories. He's okay offensively, but nothing defensively. So he's not the greatest player in this game. David Steckel, he's a great fourth line grinder for us. Uh, his defensive category is solid. Uh, he will be playing the fourth line center position for us, okay? Um, in the, in the uh, what do we got? All these guys. Yeah, okay. So in the minors, we got Nazim Kadri. There you go. 
He's our uh, supposedly our jewel down there. He's playing up right now in the real NHL, seventh overall. Um, he's not bad. He he can develop fairly well if those bees stay bees. If he drops, then yeah, he will go off. But he'll be up. He'll be ready to play next year because offensively, remember what we did with the Akapov. Offensively, they can go. He'll be able to go. Defensively, eh. But he's gonna play in the minors at least one more year for sure. Uh, we don't need to check uh, Dupuy. Joe Colburn, we all know about this guy, what he gets to about in year uh, four or five. So, he's good. He's going to play in the minors as well. Uh, then these guys, nah, we don't have to worry about them. So there's our centers, our left wingers. Nikolai Kuhlman. Now, this guy, I'd rather him being a two-way forward, but he's got that B- minus for offense, and his offense is pretty good. So he definitely can pass for a... A first line, not the best first line, but he can pass for a first liner, but I'd rather him on the second line. I'd actually even mind him on the third line as a two-way forward, but what are you going to do? And there's our timer. Yeah, we got to make it short timers now because since it's a new account, I can't even upload. I'm not even allowed to upload long videos, but that's okay, boys. We'll quickly just go through all of our uh, rosters here so you guys can all see. So you guys can uh, comment below on which players maybe we should get rid of here. Clark MacArthur, again, another player for the Leafs that is just... He's not bad. Another third line, two-way forward. But, man, 3.2 mil. He, he wants a lot. In the minors, we don't really have anyone uh, good. I know the Toronto Maple Leafs. This guy, Caputi. But, actually, we traded him recently, so they haven't updated the rosters. No one really good for prospects. Right wingers, though. Phil the Thrill. Look at this guy. 23 years old. 87 overall. Not the greatest. I mean, Phil Kessel, simulation-wise, his, since his shot is down... He's only going to get 25, 30 goals unless I get him a solid first line center. Um, so, but he's only 23, and even though his potential CCC with like six good years of playoff runs, he will get up to a 90, absolutely. So he is a player that we're going to keep. Um, hopefully, he can he can produce for us, but I don't think he will. Being only 87 overall, I don't think he'll produce like everyone's expecting him to. And this guy Joffrey freaking Lupel, he's only an 83 overall. My God. He's solid offensively. It's the defensive stats that bring him down. But, I mean, he's in the top. I think he's in the top five still. He's in the top five for goal scoring in the NHL. He's only an 83 overall. Ugh. Ugh. That's okay. We'll have to deal with the boys. That's what we got to do. Colby Armstrong, he's a good fourth line grinder. 82 overall. Uh, the only thing is he's expensive as well. Three million, man. All these Leafs, expensive. Uh, Mike Brown, more of these grinders for us. Joey Crabb. Um... Matt Fratton, I wish this guy was better, but look, oh, 73 overall CCC, he's a lot better than this in real life, but sadly, he probably won't be even a player that we uh, get good mileage out of, but the defensive core, this is where we're very strong, defensive, uh, Dion Phaneuf, he could be a bit better, but he gets better, look at the offensive awareness, defensive awareness, I mean, he's a solid defender, absolutely, penalty killer, same thing with Luke Shen, defensively solid, and he's going to get very good with his potential. So, there's two defensemen taken care of. Mike Komisarek, he's not bad defensively. I mean, they definitely overrate him in this game. But defensively, he's not bad. So, a third line and then, like, a penalty killer, not bad. But the only thing I don't like about him is he's at 4.5 for the next three years. Hell no. We're going to have to cut him loose by then. Uh, John Michael Lyles, we all know about him. All right, he's a good uh, he's a good defender. And Cody Franz, and this guy, they have him rated amazing in this game. Look at this. 82 overall. Everything's already 80s, mid-80s. And he still has BBB for potential. I mean, if this guy is this good, thank God. Um, he's 6'5", he's huge. I don't think he's necessarily this good watching Leaf games, but hell, he's a top-notch defender that we have on our team. But uh, I know this guy gets expensive as well. So we definitely have some tradable assets on the defensive side of things. Then we have uh, Gunnarsson, who is not bad. He can uh, develop as a third-liner kind of thing. And then we have Ollie and Gardner, which you guys know about. And then all these other rookies who are... Nothing special, nothing for five-year playing kind of special. And then goaltenders, the Super Swede, Jonas Gustafsson, we know about him, the backup. And then James Reimer, who this year, boys, he is not a first, he's not a, oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I think that was the first time I ever sneezed. Ah, Holy crap, there's two. All right, uh, James Reimer, he's definitely not a, a starter yet. Like, he's going to have to be our starter, but I don't know. We might have to get a goalie, boys, so... There's our team. I'm going to put this video up. I'm going to let you guys comment on what we should do, all right? There you go. There's our first video for the Toronto Maple Leafs. There's our team. We're definitely a first-line center and possibly another another goalie who can play more games than Reimer if we're going to win the Stanley Cup the first year. And I want to be a Stanley Cup champion the first year, boys. So comment away. What should we do? What should we do?